News. The e-scooter pilot program launched last September and the city council says several issues are now being reported. Yes, among those issues, several neighborhood groups report unsafe and improper use of scooters in the area. And today the Tucson City Council met to discuss plans to address concerns about the program. News 4 Tucson's Ali Potter joins us now live with the details from that meeting. Ali, what's going on out there? All right, John Angelique, don't get too excited because during this council meeting, a decision was not made. It was just an update to see how this pilot program is going. So we are in month four of the six month program, and this is an example of the scooters that they are talking about. Now the council did meet in December to discuss the pilot program. They featured 1000 e scooters in Tucson. They decided uh, Bird and Razor, those are the makers of the e scooters, come up with an action plan. Plan, and that plan was discussed today. So first safety, the two companies are providing riders with free helmets. There's also some incentives. So for example, if you take a selfie wearing your helmet or even a picture of where you parked your scooter, you would get a discount on your next ride. Enforcement, that was a big discussion as well. Councilman Durham says the companies should charge more for the rides and then hire more TPD officers. Those officers would then make sure that they're following the rules of the road. However, Councilman Kazachik argued back and said TPD is already spread thin and they shouldn't be chasing down scooters. Now we did contact Bird on their thoughts about the scooters being here in Tucson. They said, quote, Tucson has embraced e-scooters as a first and last mile solution from breezing past traffic during the daily work commute to providing a sustainable option to get to and from downtown. Bird is helping make the city more livable for everyone. Now the pilot program is up in March and then the council members will meet once again to discuss whether they want to continue with the pilot program or stop it altogether or even make it a permanent decision for Tucson. Of course, we'll keep you updated as we continue to follow this story. Live downtown, Ali Potter News for Tucson. Ali, thank you. Developing this